All right, let's talk about Comet Swan. Comet Swan is getting brighter every day. Currently, it is in the magnitude of Mag 6. So, a lot of questions people are asking, can I actually see these comets without using telescopes? So, I wanted to give you a perspective of what Mag 6 means. So, if you have ever seen Saturn in the sky, so Saturn is Mag 1. So, 1 is brighter than 6. As you see the lower magnitude, you will start seeing the objects being more bright. For example, like a crescent moon is like a minus 10, right? So, if Saturn is magnitude of 1, Jupiter is actually magnitude of minus 2. It's brighter than Saturn. So, the Jupiter moons, the moons of Jupiter, if you ever saw without a telescope, they are magnitude 5. Right now, the comet Swan is mag of 6. So, it's fainter than the moons of the Jupiter. So, if the comet Swan gets brighter than mag 6, like mag 4 or mag 3, we might start seeing comet Swan. So, earlier when we talked about comet Atlas, the reason why we were so excited about comet Atlas was there was a projection that this comet atlas may go to like minus 3.5. That would be like something like Jupiter that we can see like a brightness in the sky. So, even probably we would have seen that uh, in the city sky as well. So, if the comet swan ever gets brighter, uh, probably in the month of May, second or third week, second week, third week, fourth week, those are the opportunities that we have for comet swan. In the southern hemisphere, like you know, in Australia, India, Africa, you should be able to start seeing the comet, which is very faint though, which is for Mag 3. You should start seeing that in the morning sky on the east side just before the sun rises. In the northern hemisphere, we do have an opportunity, but it will be very low, very close to the horizon. Let us talk about comet pan stars. So, why are we excited about comet pan stars? Well, if you look at the orbital period of comet pan stars, it is going to come once in 500,000 years. That's like half a million years. The, those comets will have a huge elliptical orbit. And they actually, most of the comets come from Oort cloud. Oort cloud is like beyond Neptune. That's where a lot of comets are coming from. The Oort cloud is kind of edges of our solar system, whereas Beyond that, beyond if you pass the Oort cloud, further away, you will start seeing something called Kuiper belt. Kuiper belt is actually the boundaries of our solar system. So, it is almost like between our sun, which is our star, and somewhere in the middle of the nearest star. Somewhere in between the middle of the boundary is called Kuiper belt. If you pass the Kuiper belt, you are going outside our solar system. Some of the comets are from the Kuiper belt as well. I will show you guys the latest pictures of the comet Atlas. Comet Atlas, as you are all aware, is broken into five pieces. Now, Hubble reports it is broken into like two dozen pieces. So, we do not know what the fate of comet Atlas is going to be. It might go past sun, maybe sun vaporizes them, we do not know yet. So, we will learn as it happens and these comets are very unpredictable uh, the way they behave. So, I will show you guys the picture of the comet atlas that I took. I know like there is not much there. Between now and the next two weeks before the comet swan may start showing up, there are a lot of interesting things that we can do. We can actually see without any telescope uh, the planet Venus. It is very bright in the west side sky. I will show you the phases of the planet Venus and the planet Moon. They are almost the same. They look identical in terms of their phase. I will show you guys that picture. You do not need a huge telescope, but you can have like a smaller telescope like Celestron 130 Astro Master. Put the telescope, point it to one of these planets or even the Moon. Put a cell phone to it and take a good picture. In the morning sky, you should be able to see before the sun comes up, 
the planet Mars, planet Saturn and planet Jupiter. It will be a fantastic thing to see one next to the other along with uh, sun coming up. If you are interested in watching these videos, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.